This is A Level Psychology, this is Year 2 Biopsychology. And we're looking at evaluating split brain research in this video. Um, looking at is Sperry's experiment something that we should generalise and draw conclusions from about how the brain works? Do we believe that uh, some functions are lateralised and occur only in one side of the brain or the other? So the first thing we'll look at is support for this idea. Um, and it's worth noting that there's a lot of research that actually supports this idea. Um, and you could refer back to what we've talked about with Wernicke's and Broca's areas um, to support this. That's an example of a function that's lateralised, the fact that we've got language only on the in the left hemisphere. Um, and so actually you could use that any pieces of research relating to that to back up this idea um, of lateralization and a split brain. Um, we found that the left hemisphere is responsible for speech and language while the right is um, responsible for visual spatial processing and facial recognition. Um, and the other point to make is that actually Sperry's experiment was really good. It was a really good idea to use these split brain patients to find out about this um, feature of the brain. Um, it was a really good idea that he used that presentation software which just flashed the word up for a, f a fraction of a second so that they didn't have time to look over with their other eye. Um, so uh, that is a really good point of Sperry's experiment that meant we that we can draw conclusions from it that it was uh, a really interesting and groundbreaking experiment that used really good methods then we've got the uh, the limitations of these this research um is that there are some pieces of research that do contradict it for example there was a patient jw um that learned to speak using uh using his right hemisphere which obviously contradicts sperry um, and this does sometimes happen when brain damage occurs is that areas that ought not to be able to work are um, used in the other hemisphere. Um, the next point to make is that actually Sperry's sample was made up of completely of epileptic patients. Now that's a problem because um, what you want to do in experiment is obviously use uh, people with uh, norm, normal brains so that you can generalize to as wide a population as possible. Um, the problem with epileptic patients is that their brains in the first pa place don't work the same as everyone else's um, because there are various issues. So first of all you don't have um, you don't have any data to start with about how their brains were working and you can also assume that their brains were not working in the same way as everyone else's even to start with. So that's a really big problem which means it's very difficult to generalise from these patients to everyone else and say this is how everyone's brain works. Um, the other problem is that nowadays there are very few split brain patients so we can't replicate it. Um, ideally we, will, we would want to keep replicating it and uh, checking that we've uh, that the results are uh, reliable um, but it's not a procedure that is carried out often with good reason because it's very a very dramatic procedure. Um, and then another problem is individual differences so lateralization does vary between different people. Uh, if you think about um, left-handed and right-handed people would have various differences between their brains. Uh, so that's just one example. But no two brains are the same. Uh, if you think about uh, plasticity, uh, we know that our brains change as a result of our experiences. So we have to be careful of generalizing to everybody from Sperry's research. The, um, and then a last few points about Sperry's sample is that mainly it was right-handed men in his samples. So we don't know if we can generalise to women, we don't know if the results would be the same in, in left-handed men. Um, and that would be really interesting to find out, except that there's no very few split-brain patients nowadays so it's hard to find out. Um, and then the last problem is that Sperry's participants were American so uh, can we generalize outside America? We don't know. So it's ethnocentric. Uh, so that is evaluation of Sperry.